recently celebrated the 1,000th episode of his very funny talk show, Jimmy Kimmel Live. Please welcome my friend, Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Thank you for the delicious can of Halo brand chili you, you left in my... Oh, it was good. Yeah. It was really good. You actually can eat it. It's human grade, but yeah. uh, you can give it to a dog or you can eat it. Oh, I ate mine. Good. Uh, <laughs> good. You're welcome. Um, well, let me just say, I just, I, you know, I, I say it every time you're on the show. I think you're so funny. Oh, I think your show, well, I you, you're, you're, you're so you. funny and so creative. And, uh, and you also send very generous gifts all the time. You're always sending some kind of cookie or, or pizza or hamburgers or something over all the time. Uh, you know what it is? I know people like to eat. And mm -hmm. also, if you order a dozen of those big cookies, you get one for free. Oh, so, I see. 12 for you, I one see. for me. I That's see. how it works. Now I get it, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so you just, I, I just turned 50 and you just turned 40. I did, and, yeah. And you got lots of cool birthday presents. I, I did. I got. Well, I did get a lot of great things. Mm -hmm. I got a, the original Spider-Man comic, which was great. Wow. Um, and honestly, I can't remember anything other than the Spider-Man comic because I'm getting old. <laughs> Tell me if you think this is a bad sign. I realize that there is something to this forgetting things as you get older. Uh -huh. I, I go to the Costco every Saturday. It's a tradition with me. I go and I stock up and I think every about... Every Saturday. Yes, how great America is. And I look around and I think about other countries and I scoff at them. And... Um, <laughs> So I went to the Costco, and this was shortly after my birthday, and I got to the parking lot, and I found a great spot, which is a major achievement for sure. me. I call myself the Park King, because I can always find a great parking spot. Thank you. And um, I find the parking spot, I get in, and I'm sitting in my car, and I realize I have no reason to be there. I don't need anything. I've got 1,100 rolls of toilet paper. I've got paper toweling that I could cover my house with if I needed to. And I just turned around and went home. Uh, well, <laughs> well, at least you gave someone else that parking spot. Uh, yeah, that was that good is, of you to do that. You're right. That's yeah. true. So you really, you go every single Saturday. Every Saturday. I love, wow. I love going. I, I mean, I, the samples, I'll eat the toothpick, everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you, do you go by yourself or do you bring Sarah? I try to bring, I brought Sarah once. Mm -hmm. I, no one will ever come with me a second time. It's like they get scared, I'm gonna throw them in the cart and pack them in the trunk too. Uh -huh, I don't know uh -huh. what, they, what they're worried about because I get in a frenzy. I have uh -huh. to go through every aisle. But I brought Sarah once, she'll never go again. Sarah's my girlfriend. I, my kids, they, um, they came once each, I think, and they will not go with me. I go alone. Now, and how old are your kids? My daughter is 16. She's a junior in high school. Wow. She's actually uh, looking at college and she wants to go to art school. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I, uh, I hope you don't mind, but I brought her portfolio. We were working on her portfolio this weekend. And you know, you have to turn in a portfolio in order to get accepted to art school. They can just be watching this. This will be great. Well, yeah, that's a great idea. It. Yeah, let's show their, what, what did you bring? Well, I brought some of just her drawings and paintings. And um, let's see, now this is, <laughs> this is her friend Seth and his dog Nitro. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's drinking a Coke and eating a sandwich there. She's very good. She I, is really good. Nana? This is not. That looks familiar. This is not one of her better ones. We did this, we're at a Denny's, and um, she did it with the crayons uh -huh. on the thing. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, it doesn't, I know, it doesn't look that good, I don't think, but she likes it, and it's her choice, you uh -huh. know, it's her yeah. thing. And this is, that's actually me. Oh. That was on Halloween. Now I it went does similar. As a lady, uh -huh. and um, as a that's lady. me, that's my real cl cleavage and everything. Uh -huh. so. wow. I love that one, I really do. So we're yeah. proud. My family is very, I wanted to be an artist when I was a kid. That's mm -hmm. really what I wanted really? to do. And uh, my grandfather was very artistic. Um, in fact, my cousin Mickey, I, I have an award here. Um, I'm pretty proud. My cousin Mickey, who works on my show now, this is an award, this is the Traffic Safety Awareness Week Art Award she won in 1986. Um, my cousin Mickey won a contest because she made the best traffic related poster of anyone in the whole city of Las Vegas. Only thing is, she did not make the poster. My 75 year old grandfather drew the poster, mailed it in as if he was a child and put her name on it. <laughs> so she got a call from the sheriff's office uh, saying, come down, the sheriff would love to meet you. It's such a wonderful... In fact, this is a photograph. This is my cousin, Mickey. She's in the center with the sheriff of Las Vegas at the time, <laughs> receiving her award for a piece of art she did not do. Or, or ask 
ask him to do. That was, it was just him doing it without her consent. Yeah, and I well, think there was a $10 gift certificate attached. And oh. um, the crazy thing is, you can see, this is my grandfather, and they're posing with the award that he won. She had nothing to do with it. In fact, when the sheriff said, this is my favorite of all the awards, I'd like, I'd like to keep it, can I keep it? My cousin Mickey didn't even know which of the drawings was hers. <laughs> so my grandfather had to lead her over the one. And this is her mother, my Aunt Chippy. And again, you can see my lunatic family posing with pride over an award <laughs> that my grandfather essentially stole from another 12-year-old. I mean... <laughs> So you have a great family. Yeah. And those pictures are great. They, yeah. They're very cool pictures, yeah, actually. They are. They are. They are. Very All right. stylish. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Jimmy Kimmel. Now, the next thing you really need a new outfit. There you go. That's perfect. Look. I like you. Yeah. It works for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good look for you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Not too many people can pull it off. Uh, in fact, I think only two, me and yeah. Richard Simmons. Yeah. <laughs> Now, was that from the thousands episode? That, that was, was a, yes. Yeah. So I you've spent done... a whole day with Richard. It was. Yeah. I'm still exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's really that guy. Oh yes, yeah, he is. He's really, really yeah. that guy. Um, so now, are you getting recognized everywhere you go, or people do people know who you are now? Well, kind of. I mean, uh, yesterday I went to lunch. I had a paparazzi photographer following me at, like, for a mile almost, and then I overhear him on the cell phone saying, "Yeah, slow day." Yeah. <laughs> I'm right here. I can yeah. hear you, slow day. <laughs> and um, I was in Boston. I was at a fruit store in Boston. And uh, I, I, got, I get in there, and my girlfriend Sarah is with me. And this woman, this very drunk woman, now it's only one in the afternoon, and this woman is loaded. She comes in, she grabs me by the shirt, and she's pulling on. She's like, I love you, I love And she's going on on how much she loves my show, and, and she loves my cooking. And I was thinking, well, that's weird. Unless she's been in my house, how would she know that? <laughs> and she's going on and on about how she wants to cook for me, and she wants me to teach her to cook. And I realized partway through that she thinks I'm Emerald. <laughs> And so I just went along with it, and uh, I just, you know, bam, I just whipped something Cajun up for her right there on the spot. She, she couldn't have mistaken you for Emerald, because you're, uh, you're in here, uh, if I were the sexiest man alive, but you are one of the sexiest men in People magazine, Thank by you the very way. Much, yeah. So Matt Damon is the sexiest man alive. Oh, that... I disagree. Yeah. I really do. I disagree. This guy... I don't know if you know, but this guy's been sleeping with my girlfriend. Yeah. I, I happen to have seen that YouTube video. Yeah. Um, have you seen the video of uh, Sarah and... Yeah. It's... So... And th you got him back, though. I, well, yeah, I did. I got, I got him back I, by um, developing a relationship with Ben Affleck. Uh -huh. That people think, sometimes people think that we're joking, but we aren't joking. No. No. Mm -mm. No. It's no joke when we're shirtless in each other's arms, I'll tell you that. Uh -huh. That video is so, you and, and Ben Affleck, when you're singing towards each other and get that close, it's, I mean, you had to have laughed a few times before you got that tape. We didn't even know we were being filmed. Uh <laughs> That's the thing. We had no idea. Yeah, it did take, we had to shoot yeah. that about 175 times. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, it's really, really And funny. I will admit, I popped in a, an Altoid before I, yeah. uh, you know, I didn't, you know, I wanted it to be romantic. That's respectful of you. <laughs> Thank you. That's really sweet of you. It's a hilarious video. All right, well, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Kimmel Live airs weeknights at 12.05 on ABC. Uh, we're going to show you the last facial I gave in Orlando after this. Don't go away. <laughs>